uh, can actually be that you physically ascend to this dimension or that you might do it in a dream or you might, uh, you know, uh, your cells and molecules and, you know, whatever it is in your body will ascend. I mean, there's uh, uh, no concrete, hard, fast rule on this ascension. Just know that you're open to ascend into this other density, in this other dimension. And um, by choosing to uh, uh, live, uh, to operate on this higher vibration, this higher power. So your DNA is already changing, but now um, uh, it can be a very, very pleasurable, uh, um, peaceful transition. Uh, if you believe it could be, it will be. Right, like I look at it as a Nirvana experience. Mm -hmm. You know, just an amazing energy and upgrading ascension, just a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. So I imagine that's what will take place. Uh huh. And I think that uh, uh, that's what's really when Christ said he will come to each and every one of us this time and be born again in our own spirit. I think that's what he was talking about, that the heaven on earth is here and now. It is here. We just don't see it. We can't see it through our mind because we bought into this system of uh, uh, duality. But once we come out of this uh, um, system of duality, and we see this oneness and wholeness, and we experience it on the inside. Um, and, and every day that we're working on it more and more, uh, this is a beautiful experience. It's the natural evolution of our spirit. You know, it, there's nothing hard about it. It is just like breathing. Uh, and I feel like if we focus on that, the powers that be that are trying to hold on to the old ways of doing things and uh, uh, although it might look like it's working uh, right now, um, they wouldn't even stand the chance because their consciousness is going to be shifting as well. So all those shenanigans that they're pulling, it's only going to last just so long and then um, they're, you know, they, the only person that they're going to be fooling is themselves and even at that, uh, you know, they're all part of this oneness. So. Uh, they're going to shift. So I, I think this is where the ETs come in um, into play um, because there are the benevolent ETs that are very highly evolved and as we're shifting, they're shifting too uh, and everybody has a stake in it. And the only ones that don't feel they have a stake in it is the ones that were genetically altered and, um, um, uh, you know... Um, the ones that don't have like real souls. And they don't emotions. really have they the real. Yes, yeah, and and so like when you see the Darth Vader thing, it's kind of like compare it to that. They've lost uh, the sense of the true reality, and they live on this uh, um, false energy, which they put, try to pull from the earth and the beings around them. They'll try to pull from your energy because they have really no life force on their own. But, uh, you know, all you have to do is say no, and they can't touch you. They feed off that fear-based energy. Right. That's the importance of not being in a fear-based state of mind, because that's when they pull the strings, and they could manipulate you like a puppet on stage. Right. And that's how it works. Right, right. So I'm very confident. I'm really excited, and I'm really enthused, because I see that, uh, you know, our purpose here uh, is unfolding, and uh, we're going to be actually here to witness this whole transformation of the consciousness, uh, which has been taking, you know, all these millions and billions of years to come to. And um, I feel uh, the choice is up to me and up to you and up to, you know, each and every one of us to choose this positive, more powerful, uh, uh, beautiful transition into this higher reality. Uh, and, and there we will be the light to show those who don't understand uh, the direction. They will move into the direction because the force will be so powerful that they wouldn't have a choice. There are a lot of new souls here that really are, have lost their way. Um, and that's real important uh, that we, you know, hold up for them. We stand up for them and make sure that, uh, you know, we do our part, those of us who know. Uh, it's very, very important that uh, uh, we fulfill the, the, the destiny that's laid out for us because uh, uh, it's almost like we've chosen to be here at this time and place 
and most of the souls that are here have uh, to help bring about this uh, transformation of this consciousness, which is uh, a, real, a new species. We're not uh, you know, going to be homo sapiens humans anymore. This is the leap into this whole new evolution of this new being, this superman. Right. That Things where are. you could do telepathy just by the thought, um, think things into existence, uh, maybe even teleport all these super psychic abilities where you don't, wouldn't even have to talk with someone. You know, you use telepathy um, and you communicate because that's a better means of communication. So the future looks pretty promising with this whole galactic shift and upgrading of consciousness is a huge thing to look forward to, but the importance behind everything is this positive uh, state of mind, this positive, uplifting uh, state of being you want to live in so you can let this source energy live through you. You'll literally stop aging if this energy is flowing mm -hmm. through you, but you got to let it in. And you do that by simple meditation or awareness, you know, just being conscious and focused upon your true, you know, your true being, your true essence. And that's this greater consciousness. You're not just in this physical body, but you're a spiritual being that is eternal, a greater, a bigger, you know, living consciousness. And we're all connected. So people need to stop thinking that just because we have this physical body that I am different. We're all connected. We're all one. All this energy is just one source. And we're all a part of that. And everything is affected by all this other energy. We're all connected. And we are all one. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And uh, that feeling of oneness is, uh, um, I guess, the most um, reassuring, uh, um, uh, comforting feeling that uh, you can draw upon because, uh, you know, uh, you are part of the solution if there is a problem. You are part of the creation of the new thing instead of uh, the feeling of I need to have this uh, system, this resource that can help me and do it for me, uh, which is what we have right now. And that has, will always fail you over and over again because that is not in, in, in your best interest or even in the other person's best interest because it's division. And as long as you have division, you can't have unity. So it's a different kind of consciousness uh, as, uh, and as complicated and as sophisticated as it might sound with all the uh, uh, mathematics and the science that go behind some of these systems that they do, it is not a oneness consciousness. And the oneness consciousness is very simple. It's just that we are all one and we flow in that field of the oneness. And when we do, we feel that presence and we are in that moment where that presence is so powerful that we become the the field of the energy of that divine uh, source that's in us. And um, that's what we really are. We're uh, spiritual beings right now having uh, human experiences on this third dimensional planet Earth. Uh, and it's sort of a, a place where we forget when we get here and we get stuck because they're bombarded with so many of the illusions around us. Uh, but we're here to try to remember and to wake up that that's not really why we're here is to just watch TV and movies and uh, um, you know and and, and to uh, move into um, uh, illusion we're really here to wake up and to wake each other up and to start the real work which is the work of the uh, the divine plan of the consciousness and it's just about and there is work is going to have a whole new meaning because there isn't going to be you have to go work and a job so you can make money so you can pay your bills so that this way you can come back and do the things that you really uh, desire to do uh, 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 whether it be for the good or the bad creative or whatever uh, it's going to be whatever is um, uh, your um, in your heart whatever it is your divine spark is, whatever it is you're here for creation, you just manifest it and you do it out of joy and, and uh, pleasure because um, it is your inborn urge uh, uh, to fulfill your divine plan. And uh, you'll see that you're not going to be depressed, you're not going to be confused, um, the day isn't going to seem long and hard, you're not going to get sick, you know, you're not going to... We run out of resources. That's how abundance.